The United States has bombed Iraq and Syria again. They can afford to launch satellite and laser guided missiles from state of the art warplanes that cost over a trillion dollars just to develop against people thousands of miles away who have no defense whatsoever against them, but they can't afford to give their own people health care. It's remarkable that it's never reported that way, don't you think? Reuters reported the latest bombing this way. US warplanes strike Iran-backed militia in Iraq and Syria. Iran-backed militia. They may as well just be the Pentagon's PR department at this stage. First of all, the United States of America is having to respond to drone attacks from what they say is Iran-backed militia in Iraq because it is illegally occupying Iraq. They provide little proof of anything that they say is true, and we know that they lie a lot, especially about excuses for war. For instance, do you remember the excuse for going into Iraq originally was to spread the seed of democracy? You remember? Well, the seed of democracy has spread, and Iraq, its government voted unanimously to kick the United States military out of its country after it assassinated Iran's General Soleimani last year. But the US flatly refused to leave. We are a force for good, they said. So much for caring about democratic values. The US is also in Syria, illegally and without Senate approval, trying to overthrow the Assad government in a dirty hybrid war that began as far back as 2012 with Operation Timber Sycamore, when US and other countries, including Saudi Arabia, began arming and funding terrorist groups to go into Syria and destabilize the government in a CIA-backed coup attempt. So much for caring about human rights, the self-determination of a people, and international law too, eh? And as for the reason the US has given for all this to be okay, well, the Pentagon said this in a statement. As demonstrated by this evening's strikes, President Biden has been clear he will act to protect US personnel. Protect US personnel. It's very simple to solve this. If it wasn't in these countries violating the democratic principles of those nations in repeated attempted and increasingly embarrassing CIA-backed coup attempts, and if it wasn't violating the human rights of the people in the countries it's illegally occupying, illegally stealing its oil and resources, and if it wasn't arming and training literal ter terrorist groups in the area, the US military industrial complex wouldn't be getting shot at, would it? There would be no US personnel in the area that needed protecting, would there? It's like if I broke into your house and started selling all of your stuff, including all of the oil that I found in your garden. And then when you started banging on the back door with a hammer, trying to get back in, trying to take back what is yours, I responded by calling in airstrikes from state-of-the-art F-35s who murdered you, your entire family, and several innocent bystanders, including children, in the process, and then called all of that self-defense. At some stage, you have to ask, who are the bad guys here? Really?